So for this video, I'm going to do a long-term review of my MGI. Damn, that was really zoomed in. How about that? Okay. Anyway, this is my long-term review of this, uh, of my MGI, um, MGI Navigate, sorry, MGI uh, zip MGI zip navigator AT model uh, from bought it from Costco when I bought it it had a discount it's originally 1500 bucks at the time now it's $1200 now the same model test Costco is selling it for $1700 uh, that means if I return mine right now I would make $500 profit here we go there it is so I got a Honda Fit, pretty spacious. I put my back seat down so I can fit all my stuff. And uh, you know, if you're a true golf fan, you would have all your gear in your car 24 seven. So it's my case. Anyway, uh, let me take this thing out for you. So I would say the entire push car weighs about 50 pounds. As you can see, I have to kind of bend over to get it out. So if you are in a similar situation as I am, remember to use your butt muscle to get it out so you don't damage your back, okay? I'm a strong man, right? So if you're not as strong as me, you can always take the battery out first. I would say the battery is about 30% of total weight. So, but again, really important, engage your glutes, okay? This is electric car in the uh, folded mode. And uh, here's the battery. You can take it off just by lifting like this. Bang. And you can put it on like that. Bang. Very straightforward. Unfolding is very easy. Before this, I had a Clip Gear 3.5 Plus. Remember, it took me a while to figure out how to unfold that thing. But uh, you got the one, whatever clip over here. That's pretty much it. Here we go, the MGI Navigator AT model. Let me take the bag off so you can, you can see everything a little bit more clear. It's been a year and uh, I know it's a little dirty. I haven't really washed it, which I should. But uh, yeah, the AT model from Costco, it came with all the accessories. I am myself an engineer. I would say this thing is very well engineered. All these gadgets, they are fit together really well. They don't really like run into each other. Pretty dirty right now. Uh, literally never washed it since I bought it um, so you know that I'm not faking it and uh, okay from top down we got our handlebars okay hey, a regular rubber whatever stuff okay I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get into too much details but the overall build quality is very good okay they're not flimsy in any way pretty solid in general one thing that i was kind of worried was the uh the cell phone holder over here it was all plastic it was really loose i was like oh this thing's gonna break off in no time but it held up this whole big thing it's pretty much your your big switch so that's on and that's off there's no start button anywhere on this car. This is your switch. That's on. And then you can see, zoom in. This thing will light up once uh, the switch is on. The left battery represents how much battery left the car has. And currently we only have two left. I've played 36 holes yesterday. And today I played another 14 holes. I'm talking about 6,500 yards full courses we still have 50% left and granted this probably not representing uh, the actual battery level accurately 36 holes as advertised like no problem whatsoever and the right side battery thing represents your remote battery and now it's not activated so that's why it's empty so if I take the remote out just get a little bit of that so now I recognize it so yeah it's three left 
So speaking of the remote, when I received my card, uh, this remote works pretty well. First time the remote lasted more than, I don't know, four or five rounds. I didn't need to be charged. And then the after first time I charge it, for some reason it barely lasts 36 holes. I contacted MGI, told them the issue. I didn't even call them. They have this online chat thing. So somebody took over the chat real quick and I was able to register my card no question asked they sent me a new remote literally i requested on friday it came in the next week on tuesday so probably the best customer service i personally have encountered plus you know costco if i don't like this card in any way if it broke down i can get full refund no problem Okay, it's back in the trunk and I'm um, gonna take the battery out, get it charged tonight. Okay, let's get this thing charged up. I don't really know how long it takes. I usually just leave this thing overnight. Well, this time I'm going to find out how long it really takes to charge this thing up. Ready, set. Well, I think, I think it's gonna take a while. So, <clears throat> so uh, I think you guys should just go to sleep and uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Yeah? Okay, good night. God damn it. Okay, I'm back at it again at Westchester Golf Course. Walking over to hole number 14 before I get on the, uh, the signature par 5, All right? And I got my phone in the phone holder and uh, yep, it's ready to go. I also have my camera bag. Back at it again at Westchester Golf Course at the at the signature par five. That was my uh, signature hook right now. So the cart has nine different speed level. Can you see? Can you see? Yes. We uh, right now it's at one. So if I click one, so start going. Beep. So now it's at level two speed, which is incredibly slow. Level three. Kind of slow. Level four. Level four is uh, a speed that's slightly slower than my walking speed. And then we're going to level five. This is uh, a little bit faster. So I gotta walk pretty fast to catch up. Level six. I need to walk really fast. Level seven. I pretty much need to jog. That's number eight, level eight, and level nine. Yeah, stop. I gotta go fight my ball. So I kind of find that it's easier just to keep your card uh, closer to you. Uh, I remember when I just bought this card, I was my card was like 50 yards away from me all the time, and it's it uh, it's actually very distracting if you do it like that. But uh, this thing has a really good range, um, so I know it's uh, pretty far. Well, this is about 50 yards. Let me zoom in. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna park it right at my, by the way, where's my ball? Okay, so control is very straightforward. Click one so it'll start going. I think that's my ball over there. No, that's a fucking rabbit. I'm gonna do a uh, max speed flyby action. Here we go. I don't know where my ball went, so I'm just gonna drop one over here. Okay, I usually park my cart on the right side behind the ball. Put my camera in my in the umbrella. It fits perfect. And uh, yeah, that's it. But all in all, I really... So I walk a lot. So uh, I play, for the past year, I probably play average two or three rounds like four rounds per week and uh yeah i i don't really have anything bad to say about this card um good quality very well engineered um it's been a year nothing really everything is really fine did it did it help my golf game? Uh, nope. So the other day I forgot to charge my cart, uh, so I went back to my old push cart. So I definitely felt the differences. Um, just the fact that you can walk freely on a golf course, it just kind of makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So the control is pretty straightforward. Uh, if you played any sort of uh, remote control RC cars and this one will be easy and uh, yeah so for the entire year that I had this thing I would say it probably tipped over five times all of those time it's my own fault I didn't I didn't look or it just it went into the bunker and tipped over uh, and in most cases it, it's really good at saving itself from falling over uh, let me demonstrate actually so for instance right now the cart is uh, approaching the curb, so it's gonna fall sideways because this cart has a gyro system, so it corrects itself and then prevents itself from falling. Here, let me demonstrate. So I'm just gonna keep going straight. I'm not gonna click anything. Yeah. First a few rounds, it's gonna be a little bit distracting, maybe 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 it'll affect your games a little bit, but uh, after that it's gonna it's all just gonna be second nature and then I, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. The only thing that made me hesitate to buy it, uh, it's just the price. But uh once once Costco had a sale on, pulled the trigger and uh i would say this is probably one of the best purchases that i had uh golf wise okay i'm just gonna play one more hole all right just pov action here we go yeah i mean if you if you enjoy walking the golf course like me if you have uh, goddamn plane every five minutes the plane took off i don't even know if you guys can hear me and then also we have Obviously, uh, cops trying to catch the crimes and stuff. This is like Gotham over here. We are in the pretty steep rough, and then if you're pushing the golf cart, it's gonna be very like, it's gonna be very tiring. But now you just, huh, you just walk like a boss. But yeah, if your home course is uh, some kind of course, it's very hilly, and if you enjoy walking a lot, I would say this is a great purchase. I think you should do it. I'm just gonna set you back for a little bit, but uh, you know, life is short, right? Okay, we got uh, I don't know, 20 footer for birdie. And uh, another perk of having an electric car is, uh, for instance, this case, my car is on the other side of the green and uh, whoops the next hole is over there so instead of me walking all the way over there trying to get my cart now i could just uh you know just remote that thing over like it's nothing so yeah 
of course don't uh, don't drop this thing to the green obviously Whaley action BAM okay and uh, let's see if we could uh, make this if golf is like a video game I am one of those players who spent so much money on the game I still get killed go Eric Bachman you are sad. Eric is a punk. That uh, it means a fat ass.